Hey, welcome everybody. Thanks for stopping by Greg's Beer Review today. Let's go down and see what's in the fridge today. Alright guys, thanks for stopping by Greg's Beer Review today. Today's beer is Labyrinth. This is a Black L. This is the Crooked Line series. One of my subs has been clamoring over this and wants to know when I'm going to do it, so I'm going to do it. Uh, this beer comes from out of Salt Lake City from the U Uinta, Uinta Brewing Company. So it is an American Double Imperial Stout. This comes in at 13.20. So this is a sipper, not a gulper. This will blow your head off. Uh, if you're not used to an imperial stout, don't start off with this one. Because this, <laughs> this will be like pouring motor oil in your mouth. Uh, if, if you're not used to an imperial stout, especially one at 13%, I mean, don't even try it if you've not had it. If you're not used to a 9, 10, or 11% stout, and I'd hate to think I would, I would go from a Budweiser to this, man. That would probably make me gag. So, uh, The food pranks of this, uh, cheeses are buttery, brie, gouda, Havarti, Swiss. And it's a, it's, and it's a heavy imperial stout, so it, that that's always says chocolate. So um, desserts go well, chocolate desserts go well with this. The meat is beef, smoked meat, game, and grilled meat, your more stronger meats. Uh, the glassware is a pint, Becker, Stein, Snifter, oversized wine. I got to do well glass. That's what I like to use for these. And it can be cellared at 13%. You can keep it for years and years and years. So, uh, this has got the cork in it, so I never know how hard these things are to get off. Sometimes I can get them off pretty easy, and sometimes they're not. So, it's a cage off. It's got a little teeny thing hanging on the bottle to make it more expensive that they write on. So, uh, the story is our brewery, our brewing odyssey is a thirsty quest to satisfy our obsession with beer. Marked with recent diversions and detours, our crooked path has taken us to some unexpected places. These adventures often culminate in late nights around a table enjoying good food, artesian beer, and animated conversation. Our journey has ultimately led us here on an innovative brewing escapade, an opportunity to brew outside the lines. Welcome to the Crooked Line, Bent Beers. That sidestep traditional brewing techniques and ingredients, pop the cork and create your own crooked experience. So, uh, they have uh, a list on the back here of one, two, three, four, four different ones. So, this is out of Salt Lake. Well, I'm not used to getting high ABV beers out of Salt Lake, pretty conservative state. So, oh no. Smoke out of there. Let's get it in the glass. We're pretty safe. We can probably pour this right down the middle without it getting a, a giant head. We might give us a finger finger of head here. Yeah. Oh no, we got a little bit more now. About a finger and a half of that aggressive pour. All right, into the light, there is none. It is black as night. Nothing coming around the outside of the glass whatsoever. So, it is pitch black. And we've got a nice, creamy, chocolatey head on there. Uh, about a finger and a half of head there. It looks pretty good in the glass. A little more than I like to usually pour, but uh, for a 13% beer, I was not expecting it to have a head that size. Usually, the higher ABVs from 11 on up don't produce a large head. It's so pretty impressive for a 13% 13, 13 beer, 13.20. So, let's get a nose on it. Oh, it smells so good. You get the licorice right off the bat there. I'm getting some chocolate, some bittersweet chocolate. And some toasted oak. Got it in there so much, I got my nose right down into the foam. Oh, it smells wonderful. 
I'm not a big fan of licorice, but uh, with these stouts, uh, you get that licorice taste sometimes. Uh, they actually add licorice to the beer, so. Smells wonderful. Cheers, everybody. I get vanilla, chocolate, licorice, a burnt or a toasted, toasted roasted malt. Wow, that's top notch. That might be a, that may be a ten, guys. I don't know. That's tasting pretty good. That's right out of the fridge, about 40 degrees. It's going to get better. It's going to get a little boozier too as it warms up, more than likely. But uh, I think this is a winner. I think this is above average. It might have to ring the bell at the end of this one. So stick around. I'm going to do, do the uh, sipping and stuff and see. Uh, I'm going to share a little bit of this too, I believe. And uh, we'll be back here and we'll see what it brings. But I believe we might have a 10. Stick around. All right, guys, thanks for sticking around. I mean, look at the side of this glass. I mean, it's laced all the way down with the lace going down. I mean, uh, Ray Beer has this listed as a uh, porter, and, and the Beer Advocate has it as a, an Imperial Stout. So, uh, as far as being a porter or stout, there is a lot of questions sometimes, and in, in, in the difference between that, and to be frank with you, Sometimes it's hard for me to distinguish the difference between it. Uh, I'm going to grade this as a porter, and being a porter, uh, it's the best porter I've ever had, probably. I mean, I've had some stouts that are they're very, very impressive. So, being a, being a, an imperial porter, you know, I think it's a 10. So, final chug, guys. I'm 13%. I mean, I'm not getting any of that at all. To me, the taste mask, all of the alcohol. I mean, I've tasted seven percent alcohol beers. It tastes stronger than this beer, so it's an impressive. It's getting a ten. It's uh, it's the best porter that I've ever drank. And as far as being a porter, now I've had some pretty impressive stouts, but it's the best porter I've ever had. If I said porter, so uh, guys, it's a black ale according to what's on the bottle, but. I mean, everybody calls beers different things, so with that being said, uh, Ray Beer has a 99 overall and a 90 in the style, and Beer Advocate has it as an A-, minus. so I'm pretty impressed with this beer. I'm going to give it to A+. Plus. It's a 10, so guys, if, you, if, you, if you've had this, uh, let me know what you think of it. Uh, it's pretty I'm pretty impressed with this. It's, it's a nice beer, 13%, so I might have a little buzz, but it's a good beer. It's a damn good beer, so. Just comments back on this, guys, and and uh, and let me know what you think of it if you've had it. If you're not and you've seen it, pick it up because I'm gonna probably pick up another bottle of it and I'm gonna write the date on it and I'm gonna put it back for a while. So uh, I was planning on doing that, but uh, one of my subs was, was harping on it, kept seeing it in the fridge. So here it is. I hope you enjoyed it. Cheers, everybody. See you tomorrow. We're gonna do it again. See y'all then.